A noodle a day keeps the doctor away, and I'm Noodle House, and we're back on Our World Is Ended. I still have no idea what's going on. Every time I start an episode, I haven't got anything planned to what to say. I just say random shit. But we wait for Asno San and Yuno San to return and gather at the meeting space. It's the start of the emergency meeting regarding the mysterious phenomenon. Asno San and Yuno San saw it on TV before leaving their house, so we didn't have much. We didn't have to tell them anything. I thought that's what you're doing, but I guess it isn't. Of course it isn't. It's way too early for promos. We barely started the game, you know. Awari oh, then adds, I investigated the route of his PC, and obviously he didn't find any traces of hacking. Of course he didn't. It's completely impossible to break through your perverted security program and access the computers here. Then how did the culprit find out about the JK mark? That's what we'll be trying to find out now. While we waited for Asno San and Yuno San, we went and looked into the info for the TV and the net. I went on Sabchan. There's already a thread about it. It links us the thread. It's pretty lively. However, since it isn't, it, since it doesn't seem like a big issue to them, most of them are just messing around. Since there's no photographic evidence, a lot of people are doubting that it's even happening. But the replicas created by the witnesses are clearly the same JK mark that we saw in the new world. Fuck, I didn't mute Discord. Hang on a second. Wouldn't be a session if, of recording if I didn't mute everything. It doesn't look like anyone knows the JK stands for Judgment Knights. Of course, we didn't release any info on World and Heaven, let alone Judgment Knights. But we still have JK marks appearing everywhere, what does that mean? And it's kind of freaky how they don't appear on any phones or clips. It's like a living rumor or something. It feels like a part of our game is influencing the real world. I'm kind of scared. I can tell by her tone that she's not lying. But for all we know, this is just a prank or something. I say that to ease her worries. But even if it is a prank, it wouldn't change the fact that it's freaky. We know nothing of the means and motivation after all. What a judgment nice anyway. Uruka-san said it's an evil organization from World and Heaven, but what do they actually do? I was wondering about that too. You still didn't have the details the last time we talked about it. Did you make any progress since then? <laughs> of course. My image of the Judgment Knights has reached its perfect form. I have everything from their principles to how often their members go to the toilet. I doubt I was joking about the latter one. Considering stuff no one cares about is both his bad habit and speciality, and I forgot to read it. He clears his throat and starts speaking. JK, Judgment Knights are the cyber terrorist organization who appear in World and Heaven. It's made up of 13 genius hackers who are planning to destroy Tokyo with a major cyber terror plot. They first take over the Sky Tree and use a special frequency of electromagnetic waves to deactivate all the electronics within the Tokyo area, then use remote control to effectively paralyze the whole city. In the end, they hack a number of missile facilities owned by a certain country and make them fire at Tokyo. Why... why would you do that? The distinctive feature is a team of their calling card uh, a distinctive teach their their blah blah their distinctive feature as a team is that calling card of leaving a JK mark on the screens of electronics they hack. People start seeing the mark at midnight on August first, eleven days before the start of the capital disappearance plot. <laughs> but there's an interesting thing about this. If you look at locations where the JK marks appeared from orbit, you get a giant JK mark in the entire map of Tokyo. Their plot really takes off when, on August 12th, the sky trees lights start blinking. It's actually Morse code and their final warning to the government of Japan. Then a week after that, they neutralize all major transportation, banking, and medical facilities. And on the 19th, they finally launch their missiles. However, shock and awe, their real goal is. Don't drag it out. I know to bear it, Asano san stops Aruka san's speech. I'm probably not the only one who's thankful for this. I mean, he was seriously rambling on. Nah, 
Is this boring speech over? Tatiana even fell asleep. The JK mark appearance on the screen is everywhere exactly like in Naruka-san's plot. I don't think it will go beyond that. Skytree occupation, missile facility hack, and the disappearance of the capital? That's far too absurd. I share her opinion. I'm glad this won't escalate any, any further. We're going to this plot, the mask is supposed to appear on August 1st, right? The news that it started this night after midnight. Is that a coincidence? I think the JK marks in the New World appeared around the same date too. It's pretty hard to think that that's that is that that's it. All just a strange coincidence. We all feel the same way. None of us know what to make of the strangeness. However, finding answers to that seems pretty hard as things are. As we all think to ourselves, you know Sam remembers something. I know. Maybe we should ask them about this. Them? Yeah, the ones who have us in the new world, Taguchi san and Miyabi san. The ones we met at the cafe exit, huh? They said they were investigating some organization in the virtual world, and they obviously exist in the real world too. They might know something about this. I have lots of things I want to ask them about this phenomenon, Gurley, and the organization that's after them. The problem is that we don't have any means of contacting them. Alright. I'll call them using my telepathy. Um. Okay. Eric Sam makes a weird noise and drops his shoulders. <laughs> Looks like they're out of range. Come on now. That has nothing to do with that. We knew you couldn't do it, right? Reiki, miracles are something you make happen, not beg for. Sadly, I've yet to see you bring forth any sort of miracle. <laughs> Those are some big words. That's why I'm a disciple. Damn, no wasting time. I shouldn't have commented on his telepathy. I need to work on ignoring him better. I guess the best way to meet them is to go to the cafe. She takes out a smartphone and looks for something. It makes a gloomy expression. Um, oh no, I can't find Cafe Exit anywhere. It was a cafe that existed in a narrow spot in the virtual world. There's no way it could exist in reality too. As we all start to give up, Awari-san rises to his feet. Let's just try to get to the spot where the cafe was. Are you sure we'll find something? If there was a cafe there, we'd have, we'd have known about it already, right? Well, probably. But I just want to confirm something. There's a good chance to test that too. <laughs> he yawns. Alright, lead the way, my boy. Tanichika and I have never been there. There we go. I remember what I saw in the virtual world and go to where the cafe was. I'm quite sure it was here. Yes, we're being chased by the men in black. Jumped into this alley and it was right next to us. Instead, there's only a wall here. Doesn't seem to be any way inside. Yeah, but there's nothing here. Well, I expected this. 
Hold on, it's too early to make conclusions. Orisan reaches his bag and takes out his NWG. He needed a moment before leaving the base. So that's what he was getting. He suddenly slips in, into his hand, into his head. My vision turns dark. Huh? What are you doing? Calm down, my boy. I'm turning it on now. He activates the motor function. The smartphone screen inside displays the output of the external camera. Orari Sand then takes out his laptop and taps away at the keyboard. Various info is overlaid on my screen. Alright, Reiji kun. Activate the world program with a voice command. Uh, okay. I still don't know what's going on, but I decided to do as I'm told. Change the world! The food was applied to my vision, and even more info appears. The program's up and running. What are you doing? What's the point of running the world program here? Do you bring us here just to show us something lewd? I swear, if you are... Warisan doesn't get any trust, huh? Fair, considering how he usually acts. He sighs and starts explaining. I actually improved the program to make it able to show the scenery of the new world. He uses the data backed up from the Zero to Home Froggy. So the reason he didn't sleep enough was the world program update. Hold on, Zero to Home Froggy had a backup program? You never told me about that. Oh now, did you really think it'd take me three whole days to develop a program just to destroy your PC? Most of the time it's a backup program. I didn't know that! Anyway, I used the world program to make the NWG display in the new world. Orisan runs some kind of command, and the program starts processing the AR, AR even. The NWG starts displaying an Asakusa slightly unlike reality. And on the wall, where there was nothing before, there's now a sign saying Cafe Exit and a door leading inside. Well, see anything? I do. There's a cafe exit sign and door right over here. We now know the position of the door clearly. I take off and deactivate the NWG and look at the place where I saw the door. When I got close enough, I notice a slight seam in the wall. When. <clears throat> And there's a panel buried. Sorry, I was just looking at my phone for a second. And there was a panel buried in the same place where the doorknob was. The old doorknob. What's this? Looks like a fingerprint scanner. Why would that be here? And nonchalantly reach for the panel. Suddenly, I'm forcibly shoved against the wall. The fact that my arms are locked behind me makes it clear that someone's holding me down. I feel something hard pressed against my temple. Looking to the side, I see the object is black and shiny. Oh, wait, wait, is this an actual pistol? Hey, you cur, let go Reiji. If you don't, Sakai will fight you. Tatiana hides behind Awari san. Tanishka, you're not supposed to say that without having the person in question agree with you. Reiji is a part timer of your company. You have a duty to protect him. Go and beat the bad guy. Huh? Wait, you to Gucci san Huh? Be quiet. It'll be a pain if someone sees us. Hey, let's go with me. I turn around and see a large man in his mid 40s. Ishiro Taguchi, the manager of the cafe exit we met in the New World. He glances around briefly, confirms that we're the only ones here, and pushes his thumb onto the panel. It was part of the wall outlined by the seam to open up. It looks like it was a secret door. Get in, hurry. He pushes us inside. 
interesting. Hello, Cafe Exit. I'm actually going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you would like to see more of this, do subscribe to the channel as I upload every day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.